Hey, uh, welcome to uh, Panuka Farm uh, YouTube channel. And uh, if this is your first time, this is Mr. Panuka, uh, the CEO and founder of uh, Panuka Farms right here uh, in Lusaka, uh, Zambia. So um, quickly, we just want to address one of the recurring questions uh, on most of our social media platforms around um, you know, land preparations. Um, the question is, how do we make sure that uh, we maintain the uh, fertility uh, in the greenhouses? Um, so if you check on um, uh, one of the playlists uh, on our YouTube channel, um, we have one dedicated to land preparations uh, where we'll actually show you how we originally did the land preparation in these uh, you know, greenhouses. Apparently all our greenhouses. Um, and um, just to recap, we actually did um, dig about 30 centimeters uh, quite deep uh, in all the greenhouses, quite a very labor you know, uh, intensive uh, process but very wadding, um, you know, all the way into the future. Um, so we put some farm residues, you know, um, in the ridges, um, quite a lot, some manure um, and, and, and other, you know, farm residues. Um, so over time, those, they do decompose, and then that becomes very good, uh, you know, uh, natural, um, you know, fertility for, for, for the land, okay? So obviously, I think as we remove... The, the crops, as we continue to farm, we have to make sure that uh, we're cognizant of the fact that um, um, the nutritional, you know, uh, profile of um, the greenhouses obviously diminishes, given that um, there's uptake by the, um, the crops. Um, so it's just prudent that we have to subsequently, uh, you know, maintain, um, you know, the, the, the fertility. Um, and obviously that is accompanied by, um, um, you know, some, some land, you know, uh, you know tests. So that we just know exactly the nutritional, you know, profile of uh, uh, the, the land. So tag along. Let me just show you exactly how we do that uh, to subsequently maintain uh, the uh, fertility of, of of the land. So what we do every time we remove um, a crop um, is is that um, we try and add a bit more manure um, to make sure, that especially on the nitrogen, you know, component. Um, so what you actually see here is just some additional manure that we've uh, just added. Uh, and then we're going to uh, incorporate this in the soil um, and then water for about a week or two before we transplant. Um, in this case, uh, for, for this greenhouse and the next one that I'll show you, um, I think we'll water for just uh, about a week. Um, and then this white substance that you actually see is um, uh, some lime. Um, just trying to balance up the, the soils uh, following some of the, uh, you know, land, you know, uh, soil analysis that uh, was recently uh, undertaken. So this is very, very important that every time you remove uh, one crop, make sure that um, you pay attention to your uh, soil fertility. Uh, the agronomists actually say that uh, you don't feed the crop, you actually feed um, the soil. If you sit, feed the soil rather, uh, that actually gives you um, some very good, you know, returns um, uh, on your crop. Uh, so I think that's something that is worth uh, paying attention to. Um, okay. So I'll just hop over to the next greenhouse. Uh, basically, we're actually doing the same process, um, making sure that uh, the nutritional profile of the soils are well maintained. So the team is just now uh, incorporating the um, the chicken manure. Uh, as well as um, the lime together, and then we have to do quite a lot of watering, um, you know, for a week or two. Um, yeah. So obviously, uh, you need to pay attention to, especially the manure. It can potentially burn your crops, um, especially the young seedlings, and that's the more reason why you've got to properly incorporate um, the manure in the soils uh, and making sure that uh, it's, it's quite well decomposed at the time uh, you, you bring it into the field. Um, and, and do quite some very, you know, um, good, you know, watering uh, in advance. So that's the only way you actually remedy the possibilities of, um, you know, manure burning your young um, uh, plants. So it's, it's, it's quite a, you know, a tricky balance, given that with young seedlings, you don't need to water too much. Um, but again, if there's too much manure, uh, you know, the heat profile of the soil, uh, you know, goes up and that can potentially burn. Um, the, the young seedlings. So quite some very tricky balance that you need to just uh, get it right. Okay. So let's just get to the other greenhouse so that I show you uh, exactly the same process that we're actually doing um, right here. 
So we're targeting to transplant um, some uh, English uh, cucumber uh, sometime on, on Friday or Saturday this week, okay? So it's quite a marathon, you know, land preparation process here. Um, but I think we'll be, uh, we'll be ready uh, by Saturday. Okay. So in this greenhouse, um, similar process will actually follow like the one that I just uh, showed you. Um, we've already done the liming. Um, so we're just uh, now going to follow through with some... Uh, uh, chicken manure, you know, uh, mix them thoroughly and then uh, proceed to start some very thorough, you know, uh, watering. Um, so yeah, that's that's the process that we uh, go through just to make sure that, um, you know, the soils uh, perform at their best all the time in terms of the nutritional, uh, you know, uh, content. Um, like I earlier said, um, the agronomists, you know, are quite... Uh, emphatically indicate that uh, your focus should be uh, on feeding the soil and not feeding the, um, the, the the crops themselves okay so if you sort out your soil then uh, um, that will actually give you the best in terms of your um, uh, crop uh, productivity and I think we can attest here at Panuka Farm that um, once you actually pay attention to the crops um, rather to the soils um, they actually never disappoint you uh, in terms of uh, crop productivity. So here we already have um, the English cucumber seedlings that are actually scheduled to be transplanted in the two greenhouses that uh, uh, we just showed you. So we actually have two um, you know, varieties here. Uh, on the left is one we've tried, and it's a tested one uh, by Rags One. Um, that's called Borel. And um, on the right, um, it's, it's a newbie uh, at Panuka Farm. Um, it's actually a trial called Bomba by Syngenta. So this is how the seedlings are looking. And um, so far, looks like it shall be a good crop. But uh, we'll see if we can test it in the uh, greenhouses and see what will come out of it. Um, yeah, so we'll have uh, action research to try out new things. And um, over time, we should be able to settle for one or two, um, you know, varieties. Um, yeah, cost is one issue, um, and 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 of course the efficacy of the seedlings in terms of just the general productivity uh, and disease resistance is is, is one critical, um, you know, aspect you've got to take into account uh, when you're looking at um, um, the efficacy of seedlings. Okay, so those are some of the attributes that we actually look out for um, in new. Um, uh, you know, varieties uh, of, of, of seed. So this is um, two days after the earlier video um, that um, we showed you um, where we're mixing the lime uh, and the manure. Um, so at this point, all that has been done and uh, now we've been uh, irrigating quite thoroughly and also doing some more, you know, mixing of the lime and um, uh, the chicken manure. So that's what you're actually seeing now. Um, the drippers that were out are now back. Um, and then we also have this uh, wire that we use for trellising. This is where we are uh, going to anchor uh, the trellising twine. So um, you actually see now that the drippers are in place. Um, but I think for the initial uh, watering, we actually use um, uh, a big hose, a 40 uh, millimeter you know, pipe, make sure that it's actually quite well uh, watered. And uh, what you actually see up there, uh, that's the tracing twine from the previous crop, uh, still useful. But what we always do is to make sure that um, uh, we sanitize uh, this tracing you know, twine to avoid you know, transfer. Uh, of uh, you know diseases and pests to the next uh, crop, so that's quite very important. Uh, otherwise, you inherit uh, you know quite a lot of shenanigans from the previous crop. Um, so this is how um, you know this greenhouse uh, you know looks like now, uh, almost getting ready uh, for transplanting of uh, the uh, next uh, crop. So the drippers are in place. Um, and of course, the wire where we anchor the trellising twines is in place. Um, and you'll actually see also that the poles 
uh, that do support um, the net where the uh, cucumber uh, will lie uh, is already in place. So these are just some of the pictures of the um, land that has since been uh, prepared uh, in readiness for uh, transplanting um, the cucumber. So uh, here, um, again, we just uh, check uh, how the seedlings are doing. Very, very critical. Um, at Panuka Farm, we do believe in just in time, you know, um, you know production where we make sure that um, um, the seedlings uh, just get ready at the time when the land is indeed uh, ready um, to uptake these, um, you know, seedlings. So we always have to, you know, get to the field, check how the nursery is doing, um, because what you don't want is for these seedlings to overgrow, um, you know. Um, so again, there's a process of hardening, very, very critical. Uh, so we've got to be, you know, gravitating, you know, checking uh, the field, uh, the seedlings and just make sure that uh, everything is in place and they look good and ready uh, for transplanting uh, when they're hardened. Um, so that's quite very critical. So as earlier indicated, we have, uh, you know, two varieties. Um, and one is a new one that is on trial. That's Bomba from Syngenta. And uh, the other variety is a tried and tested one that we've had for years. So that's the land prep. Now, um, five, you know, days later, here we are. Uh, the two greenhouses have now been, you know, transplanted, uh, you know, with uh, English cucumber. Um, and that's what you see here. Um, so one uh, is Bomba, which is uh, the newbie, uh, which is under trial from Syngenta. Um, and then the other one is... Um, uh, Borel that we've been planting. That's a Rags one a variety. So what we actually have here uh, This is Borel from um, Rags one um, Just about a thousand and one hundred, you know uh, seedlings that have been transplanted in here um, and um, so this is What you know all that you know land preparation has actually culminated into uh, Beautifully done um, you see we follow the zigzag, you know format uh, in transplanting to make sure that uh, the drippers are well, you know, are anchored in the middle. Uh, of course, we have a few uh, drippers that are, you know, excessively dripping. But um, yeah, that's something that we're fixing. But here you can actually see that um, uh, the ammeters are working quite well. Um, and we do this at about 30 centimeters. Um, so that's Borel for you. Um, um, so transplanted on the 19th of uh, March. And this is how um, this, you know, field uh, looks. Then on to um, the newbie, that's, uh, you know, Bomba uh, from um, Syngenta, looking good so far. Um, but I think we'll be able to tell, you know, after a couple of weeks, um, once it starts fruiting, and also just a general outlook of the crop, um, I think we know what to look for. Uh, in a good uh, English cucumber uh, variety. So uh, we have our criteria and uh, we'll be able to mark it. Um, yeah. So you actually see some of these seedlings that are falling off. Um, this is what you want to guard against. Um, you know, when the seedlings get too tall. Um, so you have to make sure that you transplant them, you know, at the right height uh, to avoid um, the falling off. So again, you actually see that um, the trellising twines are in place. And um, this is just, you know, some of the pictures uh, of um, the outlook of the greenhouses after, you know, uh, transplanting. So I hope that gives you a very good, um, you know, appreciation from, you know, land preparation all the way to transplanting and how the greenhouses just um, uh, look like. So uh, for those that have been asking, I hope we have actually ably, you know, answered your questions on land preparations all the way to uh, transplanting. Um, so that's Bomba for you. Um, and this is just how beautiful um, the greenhouses um, uh, look like. So it's 30 centimeters um, in terms of just um, uh, the, the distance between um, the seedlings. Okay, so if you've got any more questions, um, you can reach us on... Um, different, you know, Panuka farm uh, platforms, uh, the social media platforms, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and indeed uh, Twitter. Um, so enjoy the scenery from 